Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I want to share with you how you can leverage AI in order to create UX flows in a very fast and efficient way. Now we're going to use FigGem AI together with ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. We're going to talk about how to create user flows for your UX projects with AI. And we're going to leverage FigGem by Figma, which is going to help you create user flows in a very efficient way by leveraging AI together with uh, chat GPT, of course. So as you can see here on the top right, uh, there is this option in FigGem, which is uh, generated. And as I click on it, uh, you're going to see that uh, I can essentially add prompts uh, and it's going to help you with all sorts of th things uh, from flowcharts uh, to mind maps, brainstorming, timeline. And uh, I would say one of the most uh, useful uh, things is going to be the flow charts or the user flows or UX flows uh, or however you prefer to call them. And uh, what uh, I'd like to do is um, to essentially go into ChatGPT in order to help creating the prompt because um, if you add the prompt directly from here, just a, a vague description, I noticed that it's not uh, going to be really detailed. And uh, basically the same principle applies as uh, everything that we discussed in uh, the previous videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back uh, into the example of uh, the uh, SaaS app. And uh, as you recall, we had uh, asked uh, ChatGPT what could be the main pages uh, of the app. So say that you're creating uh, a new application uh, for a client. Uh, you can say, you can simply ask ChatGPT, what are going to be the main uh, pages? Can you create a structure of that web app uh, from a high level? And uh, basically now that we have this uh, structure, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to ask ChatGPT, can you give me a prompt that I can add into FigGem AI in order for it to generate a high level workflow of the app so I can see the visual hierarchy and the main pages. And uh, by doing this, uh, as you know, it's going to create uh, a high level prompt, uh, which is going to be optimized uh, for Big Gem in this case, uh, but uh, it's going to be quite generic and it's going to be used for, uh, or actually going to, to work with most AI softwares if you want to uh, utilize the same principle with other ones. So as you can see over here, the prompt is going to uh, to say create a high level workflow for a SaaS subscription management app with the following structure and then we have onboarding screen dashboard page subscription page analytics page and ideally uh, and of course if this is a client project you want to revise uh, this uh, uh, that uh, has been uh, created by ChatGPT, and uh, you can select an element uh, and uh, click here on reply and uh, uh, adjust it if needed, or you can do this manually if you feel it's going to be faster. So you want to essentially have this uh, as a blueprint uh, of uh, the high level that uh, you're working with. Then uh, once you go back into FigGem, you're going to click over here on generate, paste uh, the prompt. I'm going to move uh, right here below. I'm going to click on uh, generate. And uh, it's going to take uh, just a moment to do its magic. And as you can see, we have uh, the flowchart uh, readily available right here. So in this case, uh, it's going to basically uh, give us uh, some, uh, some elements uh, which are going to be uh, useful. So onboarding screen, this is going to be the base. Then this is going to bring to the main dashboard page and then uh, it's going to essentially go ahead and uh, go through the different pages. Now, in this case, uh, it's uh, not my preferred way of displaying this because I'd rather have this horizontal. Uh, so maybe you can add it in the prompt, but uh, nonetheless, uh, it's going to give us uh, a quite a few different ideas. But one of the things that you want to keep in mind is uh, that in the prompt, uh, if uh, you have uh, multiple subsections. So for example, if we check out the analytics page, you can see that we have monthly spending trend, category breakdown, and usage trends. 
Now, this could be even just a node. So you could avoid uh, having a lot of, uh, of space allocated by simply having this in a node, for example, and uh, or as a feature section, you know, there's a million ways that you can uh, display this, uh, but you get the point. So you can see how, if you want to simplify this uh, dramatically, you can actually simply keep uh, the main pages. So we're going to do the, just that. So we're going to go over here and uh, I'm going to simply remove uh, the description that we have for the individual pages. And uh, this is going to essentially give us uh, a high level workflow instead of uh, something which is uh, quite uh, uh, quite nuanced, uh, too nuanced for something which is, you know, high level as uh, we we're just describing. So I'm simply going to keep it like this. As you can see, now we simply have the individual screens and I'll try and see if uh, a horizontal high level workflow is going to do the trick in order to simplify this. And I'm going to go over here, click on generate and FigGem, once again, it's going to do its magic. And uh, here we have a much simpler uh, high level wireframe. So as you can see, a lot of it is going to come to uh, the basics of um, just refining the prompt uh, until you find you get what you want. And then at this point, you know, you can go over here, change the different colors, uh, and um, basically make it presentable for the client. So oh, maybe you want to change uh, these colors right here and uh, having all of the different sections, you know, outlined as you see fit. So this is uh, the basic gist of it. Uh, and uh, it's something that helped me tremendously, especially when working on really complicated process. Because uh, one thing that you can ask uh, ChatGPT is uh, also, can you create all the, uh, pages uh, and uh, uh, what are probably like the models that you need uh, and uh, what's going to be the logic loops. So you can create uh, extremely complicated uh, user flows uh, in a very fast and efficient way. And you don't need to manually check uh, about all of the logic loops uh, in terms of uh, creating uh, each and every one of them uh, individually. So this is going to be massive when you're working on uh, web design, but especially UI UX design pro uh, projects like the ones that I work on pretty much on a daily basis. So definitely keep this uh, in mind uh, and uh, it's going to save you tons of time.